Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and this is Catnip Dreams of Food. So I have my beautifully decorated Christmas tree right behind me. So today is gonna be another holiday themed episode. My last episode was a Starbucks holiday themed taste test video, which I'll link up above. And I'm very much in the holiday spirit right now and I'm, I just love this time of year. I personally really like the cold, so the fact that I woke up to it snowing today made me a very happy person. And I'm probably one of the few people that actually enjoys the cold. It's just because I'm always hot, so <laughs> that's why. But anyway, today's episode is also gonna be a holiday themed kind of episode. So I still plan on doing a Dunkin' Donuts and Tim Hortons holiday drink themed episode, but today I decided I actually wanted to make something and cook. I haven't really done that in a little while since I think the video on Japanese history and food culture. So today I'm gonna be actually baking and we're gonna make soft gingerbread cookies. And I do have the ingredients to make a couple of other cookies which I plan on doing throughout the week because they're pretty quick and easy and who doesn't like Christmas cookies? And if you don't, I understand, but you're missing out and I will eat your share of them. <laughs> but anyway, I plan on doing a couple of these short baking episodes where I just make a different cookie recipe that's definitely holiday themed. So today's video will be a soft gingerbread cookie. I personally don't like very crispy, like cutout cookies, like, you know, kind of a traditional gingerbread man. So I love the flavor of ginger and cinnamon and clove. So I make a softer version that implements baking soda, which helps make the cookie a little bit softer and chewier. So I'm really excited for this one. I hope you guys are in the holiday spirit and I'm just loving my Christmas tree. So let's get right into baking. All right guys, so here's my little recipe book. I don't know if you guys have kind of seen this in the background, but I figured I would write the recipe on an actual recipe card. Even though I didn't have it in there, I just kind of, let's be honest, I just saved these in my phone. But here's a little recipe, and here's our little gingerbread chef helper. Pretty excited about this. So let's go ahead and make this recipe. All right guys, what do you think? I think they look awesome, I'm very proud of them. I like how they have the nice split. They're very chewy, but soft on the inside a little bit. They're absolutely delicious. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I really had a lot of fun baking and just kind of getting back into the kitchen because I, like I said before, I haven't really cooked since the Japanese food history and food culture video. And speaking of the food history and food culture videos, I haven't forgotten about the Peruvian food history and food culture. Like I said, the majority of that is taped, but I decided to take a little bit of a break, mainly because it's the holiday season and I really wanted to have some videos that were centered around that. And I enjoy taste test videos because I get to try new 
anything. So I wanted to do one of those last week and I will have that video up for you. I'll be honest, it might not be until after the holidays. I, If you really want th that video, definitely leave me a comment down below and I can make it a priority. And if you guys are enjoying these kind of more holiday themed videos, please give this a thumbs up and comment down below a certain cookie that you really would like me to make. I do plan on making a chewy sugar cookie as well as a cream cheese frosted brownie. They both are really delicious and very easy to execute and I thought they would be just recipes that you could carry on with you for years because they really are timeless. So, but if there's a certain cookie that you really like, I know that cutouts are a very popular Christmas cookie. So are anything like peppermint flavored. So leave me a comment down below if there's a certain recipe that you'd like for me to make, or maybe it's something that you enjoy making and you just want to share it with me. But thank you again so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. And you know, if you're not new to my channel and you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And uh, I'll see you guys soon for more holiday videos. See ya, thanks.